Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. Today we're talking about news that nominally is about leadership at OpenAI, but actually I think is much more telling as an indicator of the state of play when it comes to competition among the big foundation model companies. The TLDR is that I think increasingly companies realize that everything is going to be about surface area with customers and how much they own the customer relationship. That underlying technology is very, very likely to be commoditized. And what will matter is the productization of those commoditized technologies, including the integration into people's existing workflows, the specific vertical or industrial knowledge or context that makes particular product decisions work better for certain types of audiences, and just in general, customer devotion. This harkens to some of the themes that we've been playing out and exploring in the context of consultants recently as well, where we're all just trying to figure out what the implications are in a world where the underlying technology is commoditized, And a lot of it comes back to real human relationships. So keep that context and background in mind as we go through this news. Now, like I said, the specific event that triggered the most recent version of this conversation was that Instacart CEO Fiji Simo has been hired as OpenAI's CEO of Applications. And while this is a new title, it's definitely a significant one. This is the first division CEO title that OpenAI has added, although this is a fairly common practice among the tech giants. Sam Altman will continue to head the company, overseeing verticals like research, compute, and applications, with Simo reporting directly to him. Altman wrote in a blog post, Applications brings together a group of existing businesses and operational teams responsible for how our research reaches and benefits the world, and Fiji is uniquely qualified to lead this group. Serving as an OpenAI board member over the past year, Fiji has already contributed a great deal to our company. So who is this person? Well, as I mentioned, her most recent tenure has been at Instacart. She was brought into the company as a board member in early 2021, and by the end of that year, she had replaced the company's founder as CEO. Her primary goal was preparing and shepherding the company towards a successful IPO in 2023. Prior to that, Simo spent a decade at Meta. She led the launch of ads on the newsfeed, monetization of the Facebook app, and oversaw product development for Facebook video. When she exited the company, she was head of the Facebook app. In a statement, Simo wrote, Joining OpenAI at this critical moment is an incredible privilege and responsibility. This organization has the potential of accelerating human potential at a pace never seen before, and I'm deeply committed to shaping these applications towards the public good. Alongside the blog post, Altman's post on X gave a little bit more color. He wrote, So excited that Fiji Simo is joining OpenAI in a new role, CEO of applications reporting to me. I'll remain CEO of OpenAI, but in this new configuration, I'll be able to increase my focus on research, compute, and safety. These are critical as we approach superintelligence. Basically, it sounds like Altman is handing over reins to the most important commercial parts of the company. The internal reports from OpenAI team members couldn't be any more glowing. CMO Kate Rausch wrote, she's all signal, no noise, highest integrity leader I know. Very good news for OpenAI for all of us. Rausch is another meta veteran, by the way, leading brand and product marketing across the company's ecosystem until 2021 when she moved over to Coinbase. Adding more context in his blog post, Alban points out that OpenAI is actually multiple companies at the same time. He said, We started OpenAI as a research lab with a mission to ensure AGI benefits everyone. Over the past two and a half years, we've started doing two additional big things. First, we've become a global product company, serving hundreds of millions of users worldwide and growing very quickly. More recently, we've also become an infrastructure company, building the systems that help us advance our research and deliver AI tools at unprecedented scale. Bloomberg sources also suggest that this is coming with a larger structural shakeup as well, with COO Brad Lightcap, CFO Sarah Fryer, and Chief Product Officer Kevin Wheel now reporting into CMO. Now beyond the news, a lot of the coverage has focused on speculation around what this means for the industry. For example, The Information published a piece called AI Firms Get Religion on Marketing. They write, Artificial intelligence scientists and researchers make room. You're about to get an influx of new colleagues from the world of advertising and marketing, as the headlong race for AI dominance moves into a new, more commercial phase. As examples, they point to ex-meta ad executive Mark Darcy, heading over to Microsoft to help market Copilot, and of course this update from OpenAI. They speculate that in addition to growing the product and its current lines of revenue, that Simo might also be in charge of bringing ads into the ChatGPT experience. Fleeting Bits writes, OpenAI hiring Fiji Simo is an ominous sign. Ads incoming, She built Instacart ads, she was in charge of the advertising business and monetizing mobile at Facebook. Before that, she built out advertising at eBay. Now, that might be the case, but it's certainly not the only possibility. OpenAI also has an accelerating enterprise business. Now, of course, the ChatGPT consumer story is phenomenal. 
Albin recently claimed that the company was up to 800 million weekly active users, and in any case seems well on its way to be the fastest ever to hit a billion users, easily outpacing TikTok and Facebook Messenger. When it comes to enterprise, new data from payments company Ramp shows that business adoption of OpenAI's product has skyrocketed this year. Ramp found that 32% of the businesses they serve are paying for OpenAI subscriptions as of April. That's up from 19% in January and 28% in March, so a big, big jump. Ramp economist Ara Karzian wrote, OpenAI continues to add customers faster than any other business on Ramp's platform. Our recently launched Ramp AI index shows business adoption of OpenAI growing faster than competitor model companies. So again, this could be another part of what Simo is in charge of. There's definitely a sense, no matter what, that this is about practice. Sputish AF writes, OpenAI doesn't need more geniuses, it needs doers. Fiji Simo is a shipper, not a researcher. This hire screams, we've won the lab, now we fight in the marketplace. But as I said at the beginning, I think it's even beyond that. There has been so much conversation recently around the commoditization of underlying models. This is something that I think many of us have experienced. When it comes to which model we use at any given time, it tends to be more about the vagaries of the particular use case than about any sort of affiliation to one company or another. Things are constantly shifting and changing, and it sort of behooves one to be a model omnivore. So if models themselves become commoditized, companies are going to have to find different moats. Building better products and owning the application layer is one way of doing that. And I think that, more than anything, is what this story is actually about. So yes, I think that all of these reports saying that this represents a shift in the era of AI competition are correct, but it is more fundamental than just business competition. It's reflective, I think, of an entire shift in our structure of understanding how the business battle is going to play out. Whatever the case, it certainly appears that OpenAI is not content to sit on whatever lead it currently has and is going to fight very hard not just for model dominance, but for product dominance as well. For now, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief. Appreciate you listening or watching as always. And until next time, peace.